What's going on, you nerds? We're back in another episode of Neverwinter Night server hopping. We got two new servers to try out. We're back to CEP servers. We're doing Underworld de Arc Ing, which is, I guess, this is like an English version. And we're doing the Frontier, Frontier Reborn. We're doing uh, the Underworld first, or I guess it's called Guile's Underworld. Guile? From uh, Street Fighter? Uh, it's a module, it's a dungeon crawler, high magic, uber legit. Anything that, that says it's legit, I don't know guys. If you have to say you're legit, are you legit? I don't know. Uh, it's an epic party module with uh, loads of custom content. We're gonna try that first. Frontier is a uh, role-playing heavy community, so uh, we're gonna check that out second. Let's see Guile's Underworld first. 12 players only. Okay, The Void. I got, I'm shouting to everyone, I'm hand in lane. Greetings everyone. Oh my, what is this? Why am I in... What is this, like, fire, or not fire, it's like, red smoke or something? Okay, we got a lot of pop-ups here, we got a lot of pop-ups. The non-stop action and adventure. Be sure to read the signs posted. Okay, speak with the master of the void to enter the underworld. Actually, it's not underworld, it's undie world. Uh, if you like playing here, play by the rules or you won't be permitted. Okay, CEP, alright, okay. So, oh, look at this guy. Whoa. This guy's Master of the Void? Yeah, alright. We got a Lich. Uh, okay. So we got some journal. Oh, look at these books. Oh, this is cool. Okay, we got the laws. No casting offensive or disruptive spells. Uh, no sexual, racial, or ethnic comments. Alright, exploding bugs. Uh, don't beg or complain. Or try to be annoying, alright. Player versus player is only allowed in the underworld for a uh, warfront and the arena. Kill your spawns. Alright. We got a lot of rules here. There is a. Uh, wait, how many rules are there? 13? 13 simple rules? Uh, if you don't like the rules, don't play here. Alright. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I assume it's just common sense kind of stuff. Alright. We got another underworld here. It's a place full of many vile evils found somewhere in the plains, but exactly where? No, uh, not any could tell you. Many undead reside in the halls of the underworld, and there is much more to the underworld than one may first perceive. But one thing is for sure... Oh, what was that? Be sure to level up. Oh. Uh, one thing's for sure, the underworld is a very magical place full of adventure and many magical things. Okay, it's full of some of the most dangerous monsters. Uh, it's full of ancient artifacts. Okay. So it sounds like a very, uh, you know, traditional adventure server. I'm, I'm pretty interested, though. It's believed that the underworld is a common place for undead and fiendish monsters. Okay. Whoa! Firestorm uh, level 18, a single use. Wow. Alright, that's uh... Oh, we got a blessed weapon here, too. Is this one use, too? Oh, one use per day! Oh, blessed weapon level 17. Goodness gracious. Uh, we got a ring gift here. An unknown demigod who had his hand in crafting many items for mortals to use, but it's really... Okay, I guess that's just the, uh, the creator. Man, look at these bonuses. Plus two armor. Cleave, immunity, disease, and fear. Plus 12 lore. And, uh, unlimited uses of Cure Modern Wounds? Level 10? Whoa! That sounded like a very nerdy thing in my head. That is a lot! Unlimited uses! Whoa! I'm very curious how often I'm gonna die. If they're giving you unlimited uses of Cure Modern Wounds, there's gonna be some action here. Okay, uh, what is this? For your information. FYI. Uh, it's got persistent banking. Uh, oh, socketed items. Okay, high level magical items plus 16 enchanted high quality uh, high quality weapons plus 8 AC They got an epic spell system Customized clashal enhancement modifications. You got some custom summons. That's pretty cool It's an advanced D&D rules server highly experienced and friendly DMs sub races were not included Okay, that's unfortunate there, w there was nothing new with the uh, you know character creations like no new classes, no new races. They did have the CEP races, the Wemmick and Brownie, but that was about it. Alright, Master of the Void. Oh wait, we had a journal stuff too. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, we kind of already read the server rules. Requirements? To enter the Halls of Magic, you must be level 21 plus. Oh my goodness. Okay, Legendary levels? Level 60 requires 17 million experience points. Goodness gracious. God levels? Oh my goodness. This is the avatar of your god, and it starts with 30 and all attribute strength. Oh, man. 
We got special items. You should be careful to examine the items you get. Sometimes they tell you things you need to know. There are also special items you get when you first enter the module. You should take special note of these. And be sure to read the rest menu carefully, as there are many options on this menu to assist you when a DM is not available. I'm assuming they mean the ring. The ring's like the only- oh, I guess the books too. But the- oh! Oh, what was this? Oh! I didn't even see this. Oh my goodness. They're, they're giving you some crazy stuff. Oh, this has haste on it! What the? I should have been a monk. Now that I think about it? Oh. Imagine being a monk? You already get haste? Uh, who are you? Alright, that's enough talk for me. We barely spoke. I read the sign. Oh, Kelsey, who are you? He's the Void Master. I thought you were the Master of the Void. It's like two different names. Uh, I aid those who find this place if they so choose uh, to utilize my vast knowledge. What is this place? It's the planar pocket somewhere in the Void. Uh, it's also part of the Underworld. A dangerous place full of mo uh, vile monsters and many dungeons. Okay, well, I go to a place like this. That is for you to decide. Okay. Uh, okay, it doesn't really have that much information. I guess we we'd, we'd read enough in the, uh, you know, the books and the journal entry. I think we're ready to go. I think we could just hop in. It did say I had to level before I entered, but they didn't even give me any levels. Uh, that's enough talk. You, see, you said I was so eager to die. I mean, not die. Okay, they didn't give me any levels. I thought you were supposed to get levels. Oh no, maybe it's here? Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, oh my goodness, look, oh my gosh. Look at all the effects! Thank you for visiting the underworld. We got a phylactery here. What does this do? Oh, it heals, okay. Server rules. Okay, is this 13? The same 13? Oh no, it's 12 this time! What happened to the other one? They just, they just were like, yeah, we don't need that other... We don't need number seven. Uh, important attacking doors, setting traps. We'll land you in jail. Oh, they got jail. The PC scry device was merged into the emote pin. Oh, you can scry on people. I feel like I'm getting more and more items every time I click close and open my inventory. Like there's so much stuff here now. Time crystal. Do you know what time it is? Uh, I don't know. Hammer time. Rod of the underworld. Uh, it was crafted by the Archmage of the Underworld to aid adventurers in their time, then spell their right. Uh, the time of desperate need. Carrying multiple items, or carrying multiples at this rod or using it at all times can be extremely hazardous to you, and you can result in you being nuked, robbed, and or generally exploited. Hope you make these mistakes. What, I don't even know what this does. It doesn't even tell you what it does. We got the bank. Club Limbo? No, nothing here is pinned. Halls of the Horror level 6 to 10. Halls of Magic, the Emporium, the main store. How much gold do I have? 12k? Okay. Uh, I guess we can go to the shops. The main store. Well, we'll just take a quick look. What's this Halls of Magic? You must be experienced enough to enter. Okay. And we got some Halls of the Dead, Halls of the Cruel, Halls of the Lost, Halls of Adventure. To a dungeon crawl full of monsters where you can train to become a good adventurer. Be sure to watch. How come there's no level? There's like no level range here. Death portal, strange making. Oh, okay. What does this do? What? Oh, is this like a boost? 12 AC, 8 AB, 50% moving speed. That's the same thing. Let's see. Oh, it's a boost. Oh, wow. I wonder how long this lasts for. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go to the shops. This guy is working right now. Man. His calves must be thick. To the Emporium. We got the main stores. Uh, the wizard store and the general store. Okay, yep. there's no one. Do I just use persistent storage chest? Uh, tra I'll uh, transfer items from one character to another, but can I access them? Oh, okay, so it's per CD key. Nice! Don't use any bags of any kind. Don't put gold in the chest. Use the bank, up to 100 items. Wow, okay, that's cool. So you can like transfer stuff between characters. That always reminds me of like Diablo. Okay, general. Oh, here! Where were you? How could you just... I was wondering, like, who were we supposed to talk to? Like, who's who's in this shop? Oh, it just... Oh! Okay, you have to get closer to it. Okay, you guys are sneaky! Okay, let me just see what you guys got. Oh my gosh! Guys, look at these items! How, how much gold is this? 119,000? This is 9... Oh, this is 9 million! Holy jeez! Guys, I, I, oh my god. 
is someone going to have 9 million in this game? This is insane. Alright, so I guess we'll go to the level 1 to 6. I don't think there's any other area. So I guess let's just head in. This is truly an adventure server if it's just like... They just pop you into a, to a room and it's just like, yeah, there's just a bunch of uh, dungeon areas. Just go in there. Like, this is so plain and simple. I thought, I thought you'd be like in a starting town at least and then, you know, they had merchants and stuff. But this is just like... You're in like you're in a hub. You start in a hub, and then off you go. Just choose whatever dungeon you want. You're good. But look at this. Oh my gosh! I got 476 gold and 62 XP. And these are some easy skeletons too. And I got all this bunch of look at this. I'm at 43 AC. I'm level one. I'm a level one human ranger. And they're only doing two attack bonus. This is crazy. Look at this. I kind of regret uh, how I made this guy. I made a ranger. If they said it's mostly undead and you know f fiendish creatures, like I, I put some points in animal empathy. I feel like there's gonna be no use for it. I don't I'm gonna see any animals, except maybe like a summon or something. Oh, whoops. Oh, what's in here? Oh man, I already just bought armor too. Oh jeez, this is the exact same armor that I bought. Chain. Oh, it's even better. I just wasted. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is one of those servers where like if you have like 20 minutes before you have to leave for work or something like that you could just like do one quick dungeon. This is what it seems like. I I'm blowing past this. Oh they had to like refresh the uh, the drop. I got gauntlets, I got a druid spell, bonus spell druid level 8. Oh so it, do, you, do you put this on an item and it gives you a bonus spell slot? Yeah every time I click on this it always uh... It always kind of changes. Oh my gosh, I got 3,000 gold here. Guys, the drops here are crazy. They got some crazy drops here. Get a refresh. Here we go, what's in here? Look at that, I got 20, almost 2,400. I got a morning star. I'm just going to run through this. The, these fights are so easy. Let me just get to the end. I, I should probably be killing all of them, just, I assume, you know, to level up to go to the other dungeons, but... This is insanely easy. Where, where does this end here? Is this the end of the dungeon? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it got it picked up! Nice. Are you- Oh, you're impossible. Oh, actually, no, you're not that bad. I- Whoa, how did I get a level- Acquired Strange Stone. Well, how did I get that? I somehow leveled without doing anything. Look, I didn't even kill a guy. But I still- I just got the stone and then I leveled. Strange stone. Battle. This strange looking stone has magical runes inscribed on it. But what uh, what it does only the possessor knows for it is bind it to the original finder. Battle tide. Oh my gosh, guys. What are we doing here? Jeez Louise. They're just giving me anything and everything. This server's crazy. Oh my goodness. Battle tide. I'm so curious about the high, the other high level areas now because th this is a walk in the park. I assume it's just going to get more hectic. Look at this man, not one drop. Let's get this zombie. Jeez, it gave me battle tide. Oh my gosh, look at this. Full plate, I actually can't even wear it. Longsword plus two, should not even have bought a weapon. 6,000 gold, man. Crazy. Oh, jeez. Look, that, that trap did more damage to me than any other enemy here. Okay, knocker. Oh. Look at this. Plus. Oh, my gosh. Plus eight. Two to eight bludgeoning, magical, and slashing. And as keen. A favorite of barbarians. The great axe is the largest of the weapon derived from the basic woodcutter's axe. The double edged head is far. That's, that's a cool looking picture. Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh, my. Potions of shadow. Shadow shield. Spell resistance, greater restoration, damage bonus, magical. We got 10 brilliant rubies. What is this for? Oh my gosh. Guys, I, what is happening here? Okay, let me try to rest. Oh, well, look at this. Uh, cast all buffs. Activate an emote. Activate the PC scry. Activate the recall portal. You can craft. Oh, and forge. Oh, craft. Oh, it's just like oh, you're just changing the appearance. I thought you I thought you actually get to make stuff. 
forge an item? Uh, my she. Oh, wait, what's happening here? Server's gonna restart in zero hours and minus what? Minus? Let's forge my shield. Okay, what do I have on the shield again? It's only a plus two. Okay, let's let's put uh, uh ability bonus. Let's do uh, I guess we'll put some strength. Let's get plus two. Calculate the cost. Fifteen thousand items current level four. I'm level three. Wait, so I can just? Oh my goodness. Okay. Wait, so I can just do that with any item? Uh, I just want to try the six to ten. I just want to see like how big of a jump are we talking about here? If the minimum for this is six and the minimum for this is one, but I got friggin' forty AC, and I'm doing what's my minimum damage here? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm doing ten to fifteen. Uh, what is this? Twenty-three, thirty-one, thirty-nine. Is that is that right? Is this like ten to thirty-nine damage? I don't know if I did that math right, but my goodness. Wait, what? This is the exact same map. Cursed Ranger. Oh, they're very difficult. Look at this. They're very difficult. I killed two of them in a second. And I'm level three. I'm under I'm under leveled for this area and I'm still walking through the town with this. What are we doing here, guys? This is insane. Look, they're only doing plus 9 and plus 7 attack bonus. Oh my goodness. 24, 61 gold, 321 XP. Guys, this is... I, I'm speechless. I, I don't even know. This is the server if you just want to hack and slash. Just come here. Like This is like the mindless... Mindless like uh, action server. Look at this. I could just run through all of this. I could be eating like a, a hamburger. I could be eating a full McDonald's meal while I'm playing this. E playing with one hand and eating with the other, like, th it's this... It's this simple. The, the bad thing is this is the exact same area. Like, I think they're just using the same map, but they're just changing the spawns based on, you know, which dungeon you're going to. It's the same layout. I th they should make it different layouts, at least. I'm just gonna run to the end. I, I just wanna see what the, the boss is. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. The spawns changed here. Let me just see how difficult these guys are. Still just walking through the town. A mummy lord? Okay, now we're, now we're getting some high level. This this might be a little bit of trouble. Still pretty easy. 500 XP. I got four th almost 5,000 gold for that. Still hasn't hit me. Look at this. Okay, I think this is... We're nearing it. I think it's here, isn't it? Let me buff. I, I think we're about here. Let me use... Should I use the rod? Oh, it's just the morgues? Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, let's use the rod. Who are you? What's this rod do? It did nothing. This guy's dual welding. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh look, look at this. Look at this! I killed him already. King of the mummies. What is happening here? Oh my gosh, what are these spells? Where did you, where did you drop? Mummy silks? Holy crap. Icicle and a damage bonus, uh, damage bonus magical. I didn't even use the second damage bonus magical I had. Guys, I, I don't even know what to say. This is this is insane. I, I don't know what's happening right now. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, this is 50,000, 100,000. So this is 200, 200k right here. Is this another? Oh, damage immunity negative? What? What is happening? I've got more restoration. Jeez. And then we got another bonus spell for druids at level 8. Oh! I finally died from a trap. The trap killed me. Alright guys, we're gonna do one more run. Let's just go on the very last level. Before we end it. Because I, I think we kind of already have an idea of what to what to expect. Actually, let's try to... Can we, can we go to this Halls of the Magic now? So you must be experienced enough. I don't know what that means. I'm not experienced enough. Okay. Club Limbo? I guess, I guess we could take a quick look at what's in here. We got a falcon. We got some pickable flower. Guile's Memorial. Okay. Uh, Halls of Adventure Portal? Where does this go? It's, it's also locked. Okay, I think this is just like a chill. 
This is a chill like lobby area, I guess. Our new world jungle level 60. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, there's a. Oh, all right. There's there's other dungeons here. Okay. Well, l l let's try the last dungeon in, in that area, like whatever that highest level one is. I just I just want to see the underworld brothel. Uh oh. 10 to 13, 15 to 18, 24 plus. This is 18 to 24. Okay, I guess we'll do 24 plus. Let let's just see what's here. This will be the final run, whatever happens here. Guys, I gotta say, this was this is pretty fun. I might give this like a solid uh, seven out of ten. There's not there's not much to do. That's the only thing. Like all the area. Oh, this is new. Let's take a different area. But the first two were the same area. I don't know why that was. Should we like buff ourselves here? I guess we'll do some buffing. We'll do some Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I also got this plus seven tower shield, which makes no sense. Okay, here we go. Let, let's just take a quick run. Let's see what's here. Greater blue slat. Uh oh. All right. Uh oh. Oh no, we're doing pretty good. We're doing all right. The spell resistance is working. Okay, yeah, these guys are actually. Oh, I'm getting hurt pretty bad. I mean, it's not too bad. Like, I'm still, I'm still in the fight. It's not like I'm getting killed easily. Oh yeah, these guys are kind of tough though. Let's try, let's try the axe real quick. Ah, okay. All right. Well, yeah, that was that was pretty tough. I, I thought it would be more crazier though. I thought it would, there would be like nine nine guys on screen. But there's only two of these guys. Alright, I'll, I'll give it a, a good 7 out of 10. I mean, there's not too much... It's not too complex. It's literally just going from one dungeon to another. Nothing too crazy. I think it's a uh, typical and simple uh, action action, uh, action server. I don't even know if I would classify it as an adventure server. There's not really... I guess it's you can kind of see, like... You know, you kind of want to explore the different dungeons, but... There's not really much adventure to it. You kind of just... Uh, Dungeon hopping. 7 out of 10. I ain't got no problems with this. This was pretty fun. That was Guile's Underworld. Shout out to Street Fighter Guile. Probably not the same person. We're gonna move on to Frontier Reborn. The Frontier version 2D, I guess. 64 people. A complete jump. We went from only 12 people to 64 max. Let's see how this is. Okay, welcome to the Frontier. Nothing new with any uh, race or classes. They did remove the uh, CEP races. They removed the Wemmick and Brownie. Um, that was it. Lorekeeper. I am a uh, gnome cleric. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know what any of these builds are. Let me let me just uh, set up my, my uh, spells real quick. Okay, let me rest. Okay, I can rest here. I acquired the gnome item. Okay, here it is. I, we've seen this a couple times. Where, like, you're... Uh, you have like a, a racial item. I don't I don't know if it's for like language or something. Oh well right when I said that. I'm speaking gnome, okay. Type. So do I have to, I have to do in brackets? Oh yeah I do, okay. I'll, I'll say hello. Hello there. Uh clo no, how, what what is the order of the brackets here? It's this one and then this one. And the, this one. Okay. And then this is regular. Hello? Ah, okay. Oh, I got RP points. I got one. Nice, okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Lore Keeper. Look at- Oh, I, I hate this model. Like, his face. You gotta hate this face. It's so... Such a big smile. That's scary. Tell me you would not be terrified if you just saw this in the middle of the night. Look at this guy. This is where nightmares are made of. Okay, hello. Welcome to the frontier. I'm the Lore Master. I thought you were the Lord Keeper, and have some information you might find handy. What are the rules? Role playing server, okay. Uh, you just gotta act like your character, guys. We don't have to read this. Meta gaming is the act of using OOC. Character name is expected to be unique. All right. PVP is allowed and encouraged when the time is right. Pickpocketing is allowed. Uh, you should be undertaken at your own risk. Okay. Please no Wemix. Oh yeah. Okay. The race does not fit the setting and is overpowered. Brownies are acceptable with DM. Oh, that's why they removed it. Okay. Uh, sh I, should we learn about the lore? Maybe we'll try to make this a little bit quick. Like, let's 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 just try to summarize this. So, what are we doing here? Okay. We're a, we're a guest on uh, Captain Rando's ship, Rajon Rando, the Sea Scouts. After events aboard unfolded, the survivors find themselves on a beautiful, albeit completely uninhabited coast. The survivors of the shipwreck were quick under the leadership of experienced adventurers such as Kolvar and Mathilda. Mathilda. There's an H in, in Matilda? In Mathilda? 
Ironbrand, a field hospital and shanty town was obstructed. Barracks erected. Oh, erected. Who? I don't. I don't know why. It, I don't know. Um, basic defenses established. Rescue efforts continue for days. Some survivors flew. Okay, so we're on this new uninhabited coast. Um, they went to the beach they f and they found Founders Falls. It's a slum named by the captain's first mate. Okay, what to do now? This uh, decision is left up to you. Uh, welcome to a world that is entirely shaped and influenced by you, the players. I hope to give the community the building blocks for something greater than a savage and deadly island. Will you combine your skills to build f uh, Founders Falls into a functioning town and one day a sprawling metropolis that has tamed the wild lands around it? Or do you have plans to leave it at the first chance to rescue? Or at the first chance of rescue? Uh, perhaps you see this as an opportunity to discover untold riches. Okay, so it's like a choose your own adventure. Welcome to Kalisha, Kalicia, and the frontier. Uh, oh, geez, there's more here. Okay, in the, we're in the trackless sea, uh, in the uncharted chain of islands known as Kalicia. Uh, location is northwest of the Moonshine Isles. Okay, uh, then ancient civilization of intelligent minotaurs had settled on the island, or had settled the island during a great exodus from a primordial Faerun. Alright, okay, so we're in some sort of island. Uh, what are the three doors? Totally forgot to mute my phone. Uh, the door directly behind me leads to the Hall of Heroes. That is this one, I guess. Oh, what are these? Is this just big signs? Oh, that's nice. The, the bound wrists. Okay, to, uh, to your right is a portal to Founders Falls. Bit? Oh, is this one? This is the classic frontier experience and suggested for new players. To your left is uh, New Luskin, a shady and brutal colony led by a vicious pirate queen. The door directly behind me, this is the Hall of Heroes, a place to commemorate great role players and characters who have gone above and beyond in server lore. Uh, okay. So am I not allowed to go in? Oh, oh, I, I assume it's just, uh, is it going to show a bunch of names? Uh, I don't know. Can I, can I go in here? Oh, here we go. No one has made it yet. Oh. Alright. I thought, okay. Maybe I might, maybe a Rarido, Merido Brinsenden will be the first one there. Okay. Uh, new character door to New Luskin. Oh, they got an eye here too. Oh, look at this. I saw that crystal too, but look, oh, look at that. That reminds me of like a, uh, other than like Sauron's eye, it reminds me of like a, a Resident Evil or something. Irene, the RP merchant. A standing harp. I sell a number of unique items to enhance your character's avatar. You should have an apostrophe there. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, they got faces? Shadowed Hood Wolf Mask. Wolf Mask might be good. I, I'm a cleric, but my domain is a uh, animal. I chose animal domain, so... You know, maybe uh, maybe, maybe I'll get a, like an animal face. Why not? What's this about? Oh! Wow! Doge! Look at this! This is like a husky, a husky head. I like it. All right, we can head out with my dog, my wolf head. I guess we'll go to uh, the uh, this new front uh, Founders Falls. I just, I just want to see what uh, the yellow crystals. Far cast is they a magical network that allows characters to teleport between crystals if they have the required item called. A oh, so this is like a like a, a portal. You know, like a or waypoint. These are like waypoints you can teleport to. Okay. All right, let's start our journey in Founders Falls as a uh, dog-headed cleric gnome named Rerido Brissenden. Here we go. Somewhere off the Sword Coast. All right. This is kind of cool, guys. Welcome to the frontier. Enjoy your stay. Be kind and role play. Uh, we've got a website, we've got a forum, we've got a Discord. Captain, don't be alarmed, I'm a regular person. As you approach the captain, you overhear him speaking about ominous looking clouds on the horizon. Uh, how much longer? We should be able to see the coast already. This damnable fog has made it nay impossible to navigate the sea. Wait, what's that in the distance? You peer off uh, the port side as a huge, or just as a huge wave comes crashing against the ship. Oh no, oh I leveled. Founders Falls crash site. You wake up disoriented next to Captain Rando and his other passengers. I don't see anybody here. There is nobody here. Except Corporal Dawes. Okay. Welcome to the frontier. This sign is everywhere. 
Oh, I, I like the, uh... I like the placeables here. The crash ship, they got a smoke here. Let's check out Corporal Dawes. Maybe we'll, uh, equip this torch too. Is there, like, a limit on this? Burn for several hours. Okay. Alright, I guess we won't waste it. Alright. Corporal Dawes? How's it going, sir? How about that? Another survivor has washed, uh, up on shore. What happened? We were crossing the track of sea on our way to Waterdeep when a huge uh, rogue wave knocked our ship through nine layers of the deepest hell. Thankfully, we were close to this island, and most foe the passengers end up along its it is shore. Okay, where are we? Can't say for sure. We've been organizing ourselves inland a ways. Be careful, though. There are many dangers lurking in the woods. Anything I can do to help? I need someone to run this field report up to Sergeant Bassia. Basha? Bassia. You can find him in the barracks in town. Hands you a note and some supplies. Also look out for troglodytes. Uh oh. They have an encampment. They have an encampment somewhere to the east. Where's east? East? Okay. How big is this map, by the way? Oh, troglodyte forest. Here we go. Okay. Uh, if you slay their leader, bring the head to Colvar in the order of the Del in the order of Delvers. He might have more work for you after that. Okay, let's do the uh, let's do the field report first. And then we'll go to the, uh, forest. Oh, they're already here. Oh, they're difficult. Oh, I forgot I leveled. Jeez, there's there's so much stuff happening. Okay, hold on. Oh, man. All right, they already rolled a 20 in the first battle. All right, that was easy. Two damage. The troglodyte has two or less health. Okay. One troglodyte for 20 XP. Guardsman Camel. Kamal. Kamal Nanjiani. Uh, welcome to the ranger's outpost. All laws of the fall apply within these walls. Thanks. Alright, don't mind my uh, wolf-headed... My wolf face. Oh, what? Oh, my game crashed! Oh my goodness. Okay, alright, hold on. That was the first time that's ever happened, I think. Okay, we got Emil the Boatswain. What does that mean? How are you doing? Oh, you got no dialogue. Okay. She's got some notes here. Spell jammer to do. Repair, sail, spell jammer. Is that the ship? Oh, I think it is. The helm, spell jammer. Why, why does that sound familiar? That's like, that's an important ship. That's a special ship, I think. Falls Festival Grounds. Okay. How big is this map? Ooh. The Wobbly Penguin Inn. Hostel Public House. Okay, where, where am I supposed to go? I gotta, I gotta talk to somebody. Uh, oh, they didn't even... They didn't even update my journal. Oh, here we go. Field report. Bassia. Ba okay, where's Bassia again? Barracks. I gotta go to the barracks, right? Where's the barracks at? First bank. Or oh, no, it's here. Order of Delvers, I think. Or is that the Troglodytes? Maybe it's here. It's, it's probably somewhere here. L l let me just take a quick look at the, uh, the Wobbly Penguin. Because that sounds cool. Oh, this guy just said my name. Hello, Ririado. I don't even know how to say my own name. Oh, we got a penguin here. Cookie, the resident mascot of the Wobbly Penguin. They spelled Wobbly... Uh, this is the correct way, I'm pretty sure, but the... the t oh, wait. The, oh, what? I thought I saw there was an E in Wobbly when they were... Maybe it was the pin. Walk. Please do not feed the penguin. Okay, it also said that he has a drinking problem. What else do we got here? We got Frun Frungus. Big Frungus. He's a fervent note taker and lore master. His curiosity knows no bounds and he will reward any adventurer who brings him information and notes found in the wilds. That sounds pretty cool. Salutations. My name is Frungistoffer, but every but everyone call, just calls me Frungus. I wish they wouldn't. Ha, size. Anyways, I wish to collect information from adventurers when they explore the island and compile them into a book. Vistas, dangers, strange relics, and the like. If you come across anything noteworthy in your travels, I would uh, I would appreci appreciate your sharing of it. Just bring your notes to me and I'll reward your service to the colony. Uh, I have notes, I guess? Do I? What have you found? Oh, okay. So it's just like a, a default. Oh, it's like one of the answers. Alright. Uh, we can head out. I, I thought there would be more here. But I guess not. Let, let's uh, turn in this report. Uh, what's this over here? Oh, it's the crystal. Oh, let's let's activate this crystal. Let's see how this works. Cause this is, these are like waypoints, right? Okay. Cri oh, what is it? Crystal shard. What is this? And flowers. What's this crystal shard? Take a closer look. 
Uh, my journal has been updated. The Azure Crystal. Lore note number six. What is that? Uh, these crystals seem to... Uh, but these yeah, Azure Crystals seem to resonate with a... Res I, I don't think... I don't think that's the... Uh, right, resonant. Seem to resonate with a wild energy? Or resonate. Warm to the touch, the vibrant glow seems to pulse under your hand like a heartbeat. What purpose could it serve? Alright, that's cool. Okay, a far cast crystal, let's see what this is. So d does it like... Does it save? I don't, I don't know how this works. Uh, what is this? Planar Anchor. You stare into the Planar Anchor and are greeted with the Vision Grand Wizard's Tower. Jeez. Oh, look at this. We just went to Chinatown. What is this? That was fat. Oh, Dragonfly. Whoa. That's a, flash, that's a fast Dragonfly. Okay. Let's head into this barracks. This is a nice looking uh, castle grounds. Guard barracks. Baron's Manor. Quartermaster. What's the quartermaster doing outside here? Keep an eye open for any good sources of iron or or good sources of stone or iron. Wood too. I'll pay a fair price for your labors. You'll need to appropriate tools for the right job, which I happen to sell. Uh, I I have a some resources to trade. You have any work? Come back when you're a little stronger. Okay, she's got a parcel needs delivering, but I gotta get stronger to deliver the parcel. We got, oh, we got a whole bunch of, uh, are these halflings or kids? Look at this guy's name. J this guy's name is Jid? Okay. Friend? What's up? Jid? Argana? No one wants to talk to me, alright. No one likes the, the dog head? The wolf head? Greetings. greetings, colonists. I have a report for, uh, for you from Tommen. Much appreciated. Here's your words of service. He's dancing a little bit. I got 300 gold and 300 XP. Okay. All right, they they spelled appreciated wrong again. I guess they just don't know how to spell appreciated. Uh, do you have any work? Uh, the wilds are full of dangerous creatures. Is this the troglodytes one? We can't spare the guards to go on hunting expeditions. If you happen to slay any exceptionally dangerous creatures, the guard will pay you a bounty. Oh, he didn't even like specify. He just like yeah, if you have anything. Oh, oh, okay. It's in the completed section too. Let me just take a quick peek in this Baron's Manor. I just want to see some of the interiors of this place. Usually a manor should be like the best decorated. Oh man, look at oh look at the carpet. Jeez, oh guys, whoa, it, whoa! There's a piano here too. In front of a fire with two uh, wing back pattern chairs. We got some other chairs here. Got, oh my gosh, guys, this is whoa. The decorations here, the interior design. Who did you hire? Look at all this carpet. Looks very regal. Guys, this is this is impressive. It is a role-playing server, so you kind of expect things to be, uh, you know, whoever made this be detail-oriented and uh, properly uh, designed interiors and exteriors. This is impressive, guys. I like it. Just from the interior work alone, I'm giving this like an 8.5. Oh, has it got a bathroom too? Look at this! I don't even think I've seen some of these uh, placeables before. Wow. This is great. Oh, we got the grand clock. Uh-oh. Stranger things. Okay, let's go talk to... Uh, I think there's someone in the Order of Delvers. I, I think that's the troglodyte task. Like, uh, can't remember who the guy was, but... At the beginning, you're saying it. So let's head here. Oh, there's a for sale sign. Oh, can you buy houses? There's, you can't click on it though. Okay, Colvar, that's the guy's name. That's your name. Colvar is one of the few crash landers to really set up shop. The elf is a seasoned explorer and detests the dangerous and, and, and detests the dangerous this island has put on it on his doorstep. Maybe it's and detests the dangers this island has put on his on his doorstep. He has made it his personal goal to rid the surrounding wilds of monstrous beasts uh, and will reward you greatly for bringing him proof of heroic deeds. His focus on... Oh, his focus is on creatures that dwell deep below the island's surface and in the most treacherous... Tre tre is that how you spell treacherous? Trecker treacherous? Uh, a forest. He points your... He points your to examine his bookshelves for some ideas on where to start your adventures. 
uh, on death a boss will spawn a uh, will spawn a object. Click on this to claim your quest item that can be turned into the barracks for reward. Okay. Uh, troglodyte scourge, keepsake troglodyte forest. Deliver the field reports. Oh yeah, these are like the quests. Troglodyte forest, keepsake three. That's shaguag shaguagin. I think you mean sa sahuagin. So those are the three, then we got some bugbears, then we got the cemetery. Alright, there's a couple of stuff you can do. How many is that in total? That is... 13. Just like the other server had 13 rules. 13 is a uh, magical number. And it's a magic number! Okay, so I guess you didn't have to get a quest, I think you just... Uh, you could just go to the area, get the item, and then turn it in. So I guess we can go to... We can go back in the forest, I guess, and uh, try the troglodytes. I mean, the troglodytes weren't too dangerous. Oh, I wonder if I can give this lore, if I can give this note to that other guy. Wasn't there the other guy that was looking for information? I think he was in the uh, inn. I think he was at the inn. Or did I have this note already? Uh, I have some notes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Note six. Whoa. Two thousand gold and a thousand experience. Whoa. Frongus. This man is rich! He just gave me 2,000 gold for a piece of paper. So we need to look for like the, the troglodyte chief, I guess. I think that's what they said. So let's see, I saw a chest here. Let's see, this might be a trap. This this screams trap right now. Oh, wait, wait, he saw us. Get, get the get the dire boar. Nice. Nice, dire boar! Guys, the summons! Summons work well. You drop anything? Okay, let's check out this chest. This 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 is such a a trap. Oh, okay, never mind. It man, if you have a ch a chest singing sing out here like this, there's no way that there's not a, a trap being set in some way. That that was so suspicious. That was sus. Oh, this guy's had more HP. Oh. Okay, no leader yet. No drops. Not a single enemy drop. So maybe you're only getting drops from the chests, I guess? Because we found three chests already. Very minimal gold. Oh, that was 90. Oh, that was more than the uh, the other two, I think. Give me something good. Give me good. Oh, it's only only gold. Only gold. That's like uh, the new OnlyFans. Only gold. It's like the, the stock. It's like a new stock name. If you want to invest in stocks, invest in only gold. Or like, that's like new, uh, it's like crypto. Oh, we got, we got a loot. The first loot from a body, one gold, only gold. Guys, that's, that's a sick name. I do appreciate that they're only giving you one enemy spawn at a time. Especially, it's, it's a low level, you know, they're not gonna try to kill you so easily. I do like it. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh yeah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Gotta be the troglodyte leader. Oh man, they even got barricades too. Look at oh, look at this. How many guys do you think are gonna be here? I'm guessing like three or four. Oh, oh, the alpha. Oh, the alpha. Get him, boar. Don't despawn yet. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. As soon as he, as soon as he despawns. Okay, maybe we don't have to. Oh, nice. Whoa, that was a pretty good battle. Oh, I didn't even get XP from that. Oh, it's probably because... Oh yeah, I gotta pick this up, right? Don't they drop something? Uh, I'll take that. Anything? Horse hair? Uh, I like my dog helmet. Crude and rusty blade. I thought they dropped, uh, like, a trinket. Unless maybe it's the sword? I don't know. Oh wait, Trugglet Altar. Is it this? Maybe we have to destroy it? Do we destroy it? Let's click on it. The troglodytes gather around this altar for worship. Destroying it could help disperse uh, their leadership. Yeah. Oh, destroy it. Yeah. Did I do it? Oh, here. Chief's head. Okay. Oh, here it is. Oh, man. I've never seen this item before. The severed head of the troglodyte chieftain. Didn't spell chieftains, right? Uh, how, do you, how do you misspell chieftain, but this is spelled right? Like, the name of it is spelled right, but the description is spelled wrong? This repugnant creatures breed rapidly. What? Oh, these these repugnant creatures breed rapidly and will no doubt have their slain leader soon be replaced. Bring this to Kolvar in the Order of Delvers. Okay. 
All right, we're nearing an hour. I think uh, we'll turn this in. Maybe we'll try like one more quest, and then I will wrap it up. We'll try to like speed through that quest. But uh, you know, I'm pretty impressed that this does seem like a, uh, you know, like a typical role-playing server. I, lo I love the uh, the design work. The design works pretty nice, guys. I like it. Okay, Kolvar, I got it. Got the head. Turn in old level tokens. What is that? I uh, found. Oh, I would like to train further. Wait, that option wasn't. Was that option there the first time? Please show me with Delvers. Okay, got the head. Okay, what did I get? Six hundred and uh, six hundred gold and four hundred XP. All right. Well, what's what's this training thing? Train further. It looks like you need more training. What? I would like to train further. It looks like you need more training. Come back later. So I, I want to train, but he's like, no, you got to train first. <laughs> that's that. What? Uh, that's what I want to do, though. Uh, I want you to help train me. What do, what do you mean? I need more training? Uh, obviously, I just asked you. 125. Oh my gosh. Plus one slashing damage. Oh, I'm too small too. Troglodyte's fang. That's kind of cool though, but doesn't help me. So I guess I'll just sell it. You know, I forgot. I'm gonna lower my score a little bit. I'm gonna give it a seven point. Uh, I'll give it a seven point seven just because of uh, some of the the dialogue and descriptions. Like some of the wording is just like off. It's just weird, and that's taking me out of the experience. But everything else, you know, is pretty good. I, I like the the role playing aspect of it. Again, the level design is probably like my favorite thing. It ju it just looks nice. It looks well developed. You guys see anything? Oh, okay. This is a nice area too. I like that. Okay, let's check out these uh the overlook. Falls overlook. Kind of an open field, an elder tree. What's this? Knollwood, the falls, thicket gully, faith blade keep. Oh, what is that? I guess we'll uh, end it at a uh, thicket gully maybe. We'll just run through. Oh, I think we have to die. We haven't we haven't died yet. So maybe we'll uh, end it with a death. Let's just run through here. Okay, oh my gosh. Got a makeshift zipline. Whoa, a makeshift zipline? Okay, use it before the bear gets there, quickly. Right, right, right. Whoa! I wish there was like an animation. Oh, that did, that did not... Oh, man. Oh, jeez, there's a lot. Uh, Alright, All right, we're just gonna run. We're just gonna run. Let's keep running. I know I still was gonna die, but I, I want to explore a little bit more before we die. They got a zip line, guys. Please don't follow me. That's a nice picture. Oh, yeah, they're following me. Keep running. Keep running. Jeez, there's three of them. Oh, there's trolls. Okay, definitely not the area. Are you guys going to fight each other? Please fight each other. Fight each other. Fight each other. Fight the bears. Fight the bears. Why aren't you fighting the bears? Trolls don't like bears. Oh, there's another troll here. Holy jeez. I, I teleported on the map. Look, oh, jeez. Oh my god. Oh, this is confusing, guys. Oh, they, they purposely did this. It's supposed to be confusing. Where is this going? Oh, guys. Oh, I like this. I like this, guys. Okay. Unlocked door. Oh, oh, there's a guard. Oh, we're, we're safe. A tree. And another felch berry. Okay. Let's, there's got to be something bad down here. Oh, gnome encampment. Oh, my home. Yeah, I'm a gnome. Yeah, crossing. Oh, this is nice. Whoa, how'd you guys do this? I want to do that. I want a map that has a, a tree, like a, a, long, a, a long tree as a bridge. I want that. Where's all the gnomes? Are they invisible? Gnomes? Oh, oh, you're bad. Oh, my goodness. Mortally wounded. Jeez. No, oh, they're impossible. Oh, gosh. Okay, wow. I thought we were family, guys. Oh, they're feral. Oh, okay. Alright, never mind. I've died. The in-between. Oh, jeez. Okay. Guardian of time. Whoa. Welcome, Moro. I've foreseen your arrival. Uh, what is this place? You are between worlds and time. You are my guest, neither alive or dead. Okay. Quest is not over. Every effort requires a price. If you wish to rejoin your previous existence, then you simply need to pay. Uh, no price is too great. What's what? What am I paying? Oh, 871 gold and 100 XP. Okay, I guess that's not too bad. All right, 
I think we can end it there. Back in the crystal. Pretty good stuff, guys. 7.8 out of 10. Some great interior design work. They should go on HGTV. That was nuts. Guile's Underworld and the Frontier version 2D, I guess. Some uh, CEP servers. That was some good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Send me some suggestions of other servers you want me to try. And until next time, peace out, you nerds.